Hi everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's really cute, fun card is made using Lawn Fawn's Magic Iris Camera Add-on Dies. Now everything that I have used for this card is listed and linked below in the description and also on my blog. When I saw this really darling uh, Magic Iris camera die I thought it is so fantastic and so cute and how could I not have this in my collection so I have die cut everything off camera to save time and here is that cute camera die isn't that so fun it's such a great size so I've die cut that out of three colors of cardstock the cardstock that I have cut that out of is soft navy peacock and fog from Simon Says Stamp I'm also using Lawn Fawn's Storm Cloud and Ebony Cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. So those are all of the colors of cardstock that I use here, all the pieces that I die cut out. You've got the outside frame, that is Lawn Fawn's Storm Cloud. And then you've got that, it looks like the camera cover basically, uh, that black, black piece that goes in the center. Then you've got the little push button that I've also die cut out of uh, black cardstock and then I will die cut out of a red cardstock for that hole for the camera. So what I've decided to do is I wanted to have the fog cardstock camera piece as the whole camera Then I'm going to cut strips of color. That was my original idea. I was going to have stripes going across the front of the camera with the peacock and the soft navy and I'm just cutting around the stitched detailing that will go that will fit in the center of the camera. So I'm going to do the same thing with the soft navy cardstock and I do have to say this is one of my most favorite colors of cardstock is this soft navy it is just so so pretty. So I was going to do stripes of that but then I changed my mind and I decided I'm going to keep the soft navy and then use the peacock cardstock for that circle. So I'm going to save those other pieces for another project. I'm going to glue down that stripped piece of colored cardstock onto the fog camera piece using a little bit of liquid glue to glue on this circle frame. And this again is in the peacock cardstock. Sorry guys, my glue was just not cooperating with me for a second. Using my tweezers, getting that in place, lining it up and getting it glued down nicely. I'm not going to glue the whole thing together because parts that I have to glue on onto when it's on the cardstock. That little piece there is out of Lawn Fawn's Storm Cloud cardstock. Now the pull tab add-on for the Magic Iris camera die, I die cut that out of white and black cardstock. So you've got like the Polaroid looking picture. Normally that has a white frame. I did mine in a black frame, but I did need a white center. So that is what I'm stamping here. And I am stamping in images from the Ocean Shelfie Stamps and Die set. And I'm stamping those, the cute little octopi and, and the little squid or the jellyfish. I am actually stamping it off the camera. I don't want it centered perfectly. I just feel like it feels more realistic that you don't have your full self in the photo sometimes. So I'm inking that up with Copic Friendly Ink. I am using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Getting my little images nice and stamped up because I'm going to have two pictures from uh, on this card that these little cute little sea creatures have taken getting all those little things in place, getting the bubbles in place, the little fish in place. And now I'm gonna color those with Copic markers. I'm speeding this up really fast so we don't spend all day watching me color. <laughs> so the Copic colors that I'm using are RV 63, 66, 55, and 14, BV 11, 17 and 13, B39 and 99, BG18, 13, 11 and 10, C6 and 8, R20 and 22, and W1 and 3. I wanted 
really fun different colors on this. I tend to, when I'm coloring ocean scenes, I just tend to stick to corals and things like that. But there, you see the octopus, there is purple octopus. And so I was definitely trying to step outside of my comfort, comfort zones. I am not a really kind of a purple girl at all or like a fuchsia kind of girl. It's just not colors I tend to go to. And I really am glad I did on this. I'm glad I stepped outside of myself and colored them these colors because I love how it turned out. It feels much more vibrant. Now I did, of course, add in like a pinky coral because I love that color. And you got all the teals and all that fun stuff added in here. But to step outside with the purple was a lot of fun. So I would suggest, you know, if you just feel really comfortable with what you're doing, pick a different color that you're not ultra comfortable with and start coloring with it. And I think you'll be surprised at how pleased you are with yourself. So my simple coloring is I lay down the light color, I come in with the dark, then the medium, and then the light again and blend it all out until I get the nice shadowing uh, effects that I really like. Super simple, turns out great. Adding a little bit of BG10 to the insides, I think it was BG10, it may have been BG11, to the insides of the bubbles to make them look like something's going on rather than just leaving them white because I will be coloring the whole background of these little white guys with Copic markers. Another way you could do this is masking off your images with masking paper and then doing some ink blending, but I felt like that was going to take me longer than just coloring around these images. I am using BG 11, 13, and 18, I believe, because I wanted it fairly dark towards the bottom. Just blending it together like I would any other image. I'm going to be doing both background pieces that way. Here's the Ocean Wave Stencil from Lawn Fawn. This is an A2 size card. And I'm just stenciling the background, the whole background with waves. I didn't need a ton towards the bottom because the camera was going to be covering it up. I wanted some waves in here somewhere and I felt like just having it in the background and keeping it in the background would be great. I'm using one color of Distress Oxide ink and that is Peacock Feathers. I am blending it with Tailored Expressions blender brushes. They really are fabulous. And I'm just doing this on my A2 size card base. Now that that's done, I'm going to use the little die cut piece that cuts a slit open in the top of the camera. This is also so you could actually make it interactive and do the pull tab. I wanted it because I wanted to tuck my picture in there. This is not an interactive card. So I taped that down in place and I'm running that through my die cut machine. And now you can see that little piece there. I'm going to adhere this down really kind of wonky towards the bottom and some of you might freak out I am cutting off most of this camera because the whole camera and the, all those pictures were not going to fit on this card I didn't want to make a five by seven card so this is how it worked so I, I glued I'm gluing in all the little pieces for the camera the ebony black centerpiece and then I used Lawn Fawn's Storm Cloud for the little highlight pieces on the camera and I'm trimming all of that off but you can still tell it is a camera I'm going to I glued down the red cardstock piece in that circle and I'm gluing down the button to take the photographs with just using a little bit of liquid glue in my tweezers now I'm lining everything up before I have my frames glued in. You could also do these frames in white. I don't know why I felt like I needed to do them in black. Maybe because they would pop off the page. I think that's kind of where my thought was. I stamped it with the word smile from the Ocean Shelfie stamp set. I did prep that with an anti-static tool and I'm using white embossing powder. And I'm going to heat that through making sure that my heat gun is nice and hot before I take it to my paper because I really want to minimize warping. Now that that's done, I'm just buffing off the excess powder from the anti-static bag. And you see how that just fits in there nicely and so cute, and I will just glue in that first photo. And something I forgot to do earlier, guys, was I forgot to stamp the little cameras from the set, so I did go back and do that. 
And then I made a mistake here. I glued this part down first and then went, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I have to stick this other frame behind it. I was just very excited about seeing this card come together and was very much getting ahead of myself. So that part will be hanging off and I will cut that off. But I, I just kind of adjusted it because I really didn't want to cut off too much of the little critters. So I think just barely the side of the jellyfish got chopped off. So now I'm going to just finish gluing down the sides with a little bit of liquid glue. I know that there's an easier way. I don't know why I made my, it's so complicated, but I did. Just finishing that up. And once that's dry, I will trim off the excess. Now I did stamp and color those little cameras off camera and I made them match the big camera. So uh, navy blue and a teal color. If you guys can see that, I'm going to glue those onto the arms of the cute little octopi. Now I'm going to add some white gel pen and some black glaze pen to the eyes, white gel pen to the body parts to give some highlights. These kind of details really do make a difference on your images, on your cards. Just go that extra mile to add a little something else. And you may not notice it right away when you look at it, but it does make a difference when you're looking at all of these images. Once I'm finished with that, I'm going to be adding some glossy accents. I'm adding it to the bubbles and to the lens of the little cameras that the octopi are holding. Really super simple, really easy, but I like I love glossy accents. I just think that I think it adds so much. Oh, I also did add a little bit to the red camera light on the die cut camera. And that card is finished. I love how this turned out. I think it's so much fun. I think this camera die is just fabulous. And I'm so glad that I purchased it. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I hope that you feel inspired and I hope that you enjoyed this project. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, definitely comment and share with your crafty friends. I appreciate that. I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you guys absolutely nothing to use but it does continue to help me make these videos so thank you so very much for using them i appreciate it you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon bye